We usually have a common concept that banks earn in the difference of interest on loan given and the deposit received. Well, that is not right. In fact, the difference is much more than that. What if I say banks make 100 times more money than you expect? Today's banking never wants you know what you're going to watch. In order to get the banking system or procedure, we need to go to the ancient times where people used to trade in gold and silver. That was the perfect ever system for trading as the value of gold and silver were well defined. Except to carry gold and silver in a long closet for trade was quite difficult. So some of the goldsmiths of that time found a business opportunity in that process. They offered people to deposit their gold with them and goldsmith will give him a receipt and he can collect back the gold anytime. And all you want need to pay is a small amount of fee in order to keep their gold safe. People like this idea and they started depositing the gold. After some times, goldsmith realized that the people are not coming back to get back their gold. In fact, they started trading upon the receipt given to them against gold. After observing this, goldsmith found another opportunity. They started issuing fake receipt to poor people as a loan, having no gold as a reserve against that receipt. And they charge interest as well. That receipt was the first currency and the goldsmith offered such services was the first bank in this world. Modern banking system is working on the same procedure. Bank creates money out of thin air or out of nothing. Let's talk how a bank does. Bank accepts deposit from the customers and lend it to other customers while keeping a certain amount as per law a required reserve. The reserve is important as if some of the customer withdraw their money the bank pays it from the reserve in in most of the countries reserve amount by law is 10 percent so rest of the 90 percent is the excess reserve and bank is free to loan it out example customer a goes to bank one to deposit hundred dollars bank one deposit that amount and as per policy he keep 10 percent as required reserve that is $10 as reserve and loan out $90 to customer B. Right now, bank make a profit of $90 right at a time of deposit. And through that process, $190 came into existence. $100 of customer A and $90 which bank one given to the customer B. But this process doesn't stop here. Now, customer B purchase a bike for $90 and the seller of that bike deposit the same amount to bank 2. Again, out of that $90, bank 2 keep 10% mean $9 as required reserve and loan out $81 to customer C. On the second step, $171 came into existence, $90 of customer B and $81 loaned out to customer C. Customer C purchase something for $81 and the seller deposit the same amount in bank 3. This thing got repeated again and again and many many times. This should be noticed that all banks are controlled by the same central banking system. Now what happens as the initial deposit of $100 after circulating in many banks which is a part of the same banking system creates $900 of new money. In most of the countries, only 5% of the money are in paper and coin form. The other 95% is in banks' computers through which they own, run, and control the entire digital money system. They are using the other method, likewise credit cards, electronic fund transfer, and internet banking. In fact, they turn the money into the digital form. Banks are the most heavily subsidized business in the world and this business is protected by the governments. Even if we are facing the lack of income, the banks always flourish. Now you might have a question, why governments support it if such system causes the economic stability? You will get the answer in my next video.